Well, this is it. Last time ever shooting from this backyard. has been an incredible three years at this house, but it's time to move on. We move in five days. There is so much stuff in the garage to pack up. That's all we've been doing for the past week or so. We're at the point now where almost everything we own is in boxes, but I kept my Deep Sky Astrophotography rig out just in case there was one last clear night before we did move. So why are we moving in the first place? Is it that this house is too small or we don't like this neighborhood? It's neither of those things. It's these damn class 8 portal skies. I'm totally kidding. Although the new house is a little bit darker, a class 6 on the portal scale, so don't expect any miracles. We're now a little closer to the edge of town rather than being right in the center of it. The reason we're moving is just to grow as a family and to grow our professional careers. We'll have a little bit more space, we'll have a finished basement finally, a second bathroom, a third bedroom. Uh, we're closer to our family and we're close to uh, Lake Ontario so it's great for what we're going to take Rudy down to the lake, he'll go swimming all the time. And uh, it's just a big upgrade for us. It's not a huge house but uh, definitely an upgrade. What? Open the window. What do you think of the new house, Ash? Well, I obviously like it. As you can see, things look a little different back here. But let's talk about the target that I'm going to be shooting tonight. Knowing that this is going to be the last shot I take from this backyard, it had to be something that meant something to me. So it is going to be the Horsehead and Flame Nebula in Orion. When I shot this with my DSLR back in 2016, it was one of the videos that really took off and propelled the Astro Backyard YouTube channel forward. So uh, it kind of has that extra meaning for me. Also, it's just a great, satisfying target for this time of year, late December, early January, and especially uh, with the camera and the filter that I'm using. So the horse head and flame nebula in the constellation Orion is the target for tonight. The plan is to shoot four minute subs at uh, Unity Gain using a one-shot color camera and a duo narrowband filter. I'm really excited about this one. I know you can't see it, but the horse head is just between the gap between the roof of my house and my neighbor's house. So it's just cleared it now. Uh, I'll be able to start shooting in probably about five minutes, but I just wanted to show you some of the crazy tight spots I get in uh, when your neighbors are so close to you like this. Now that's one thing I will actually miss. It's six o'clock and I hear the church bell downtown going off. Being this close to downtown, there's some pretty cool parts about it. That's one of them. I will miss that sound. Those of you that are longtime subscribers will already know exactly what we're working with here. But if you're new to the channel, let me explain the gear I'm using here. So this is a Skywatcher EQ6R Pro. German Equatorial Mount. We've got a Skywatcher Esprit 100 ED triplet APO refractor. Riding on top is a Starfield 60mm guide scope with an Altair GP Cam 2 guide camera. The primary imaging camera is the ZWO ASI 294MC Pro. That's a one-shot color cooled CMOS camera. And then the filter I'm using is the STC Astro Duo Narrowband filter. Most amateur astrophotographers will frame up the Horsehead Nebula with the Flame Nebula just because it fits so conveniently in a very uh, common field of view. In this book here you'll see the orientation that uh, I'll be shooting it in that it seems almost everyone shoots it in. It's just so perfectly aligned. There's so much going on in there. It's a really beautiful target. The great thing about this target is that you don't need a cool, dedicated astronomy camera like the 294MC Pro to enjoy it. 
I've photographed this one several times with my DSLR uh, right here in the city in the light polluted skies and it's still possible to get a really impressive image. If you're shooting it in true color RGB, not narrow band, just a broad spectrum filter, it is quite challenging. You're going to need to soak in a lot of time to improve that signal to noise ratio just to bust through all that light pollution, but it is possible. With that being said, adding H-alpha with a narrow band filter will really help with the Horsehead Nebula like pretty much night and day. Most of the great photos of, of the horse head you've ever seen, I'm sure, were shot with uh, an H-alpha narrow band filter in place of the camera. So if you've got a DSLR, that's probably the first narrow band filter you'll, you'll want to invest in uh, is an H-alpha filter. And that's, of course, if you've modified your camera for astrophotography, which I've talked about so many times, uh, it's just a game changer. So I highly suggest you modify your camera for astrophotography, removing that IR cut filter. The Horse Head and Flame Nebula, give it a shot. Even if you're in the city, I think you'll really enjoy it. Aside from being two classes better on the Bortle scale, the new place is a huge improvement as far as uh, open sky window goes. So there's a deck off the back, which is nice because I get that little bit of elevation. And there's a wide open view to the south and the east, which is really ideal for astrophotography. The west, there is a large tree in the west, but I usually don't shoot things on their way down anyway. Great view to the north as well, which, which is great for uh, polar alignment, but the south and southeast are wide open. There's no tall trees blocking it. Huge improvement for where I am now. There's no rear neighbors, so there's no huge obstructions like right next to me, like my neighbor's houses and fences like they are now. So really looking forward to that. And it was a huge selling feature of why we wanted it, why I wanted it. We've shared a lot of memories together in this garage over the years as Astro Backyard has grown. I still remember when this garage was completely empty the day after we moved in. It was the day we picked up Rudy. He was nine months old. We picked him up from the pound. And there's a picture of him lying on the cement floor in the garage with, and it's completely empty all around him. This was Rudy's first house. He's never had a family or a home before. He's a rescue dog. So this move has been a little bit he doesn't know what to think of it. He's seeing all the boxes get packed up and all that stuff put away and he seems a little confused. But uh, I know that he's going to love the new house even more than this one. 